Okay, so we continue and let's see how we can work with the file system and how we can create or rename directories, how we can delete directories and things like that. Okay, in PHP we have uh, several magic constants, which changes their value depending from which context it is called. Okay, so as an example, I'm going to use uh, one, two magic constants like dir, which shows the directory in which the current file lives, and another is a file that will simply show the current file. And let's let's open this in the browser, and here here it is. So we see that this is uh, this is the directory magic constant, and this is the file. Okay, so if we call the them these magic constants from different directories and different files, it will have different values. Now let's see how we can create folder. So mkdir in PHP creates folder, and we can give right here the name of the folder, like test, for example. Okay, so in fact, uh, we can also give some permissions and other values to that mkdir function. So uh, let me just click it, and this is the uh, core documentation of the function. And I strongly recommend to check out the link, which will be in the video description. And I'm going to open this link in a short time also and check out the other parameters of that mkdir or any other function what I'm using right here in this in this file. Okay, so I'm going to call mk, mkdir and that's going to create folder and here is the test folder. Okay, let's let's comment this code and let's rename our directory. For this we use rename, pass their uh, test, test, and the second argument will be the new uh, folder name and let's call it my underscore folder. Okay. So let's save this, refresh the browser, and here it is. Test is not uh, there, my folder is appearing there. If we want to delete the directory, we can just call rmdir, and we pass here my folder, and that's gonna fully remove the folder. Let's comment this, okay? So we don't see my folder anymore. Okay, let's see how we can read files and folders inside given directory. Okay, so for this we have scan dir function. We give the file path inside which we want to read all files and folders, and we can give the current folder. Okay, read all files and folders uh, inside the current folder, and let's save it in a files array, and let's um, just print that files array. Okay. So here we have, so we have four elements in this array. The dot and double dot is a special type of folders. The dot basically corresponds to the current folder in which the file lives. The double dot corresponds to the parent folder, okay? And they appear in all, all scanned results. Even though the file, the folder uh, may be empty, they still appear there, okay? Um, okay, so if we want to just to see the, the files what we have in the folder, we just need to iterate over these files and skip dot and double dot and here it is. We have index.php and we have lorem.txt. Okay, what is that lorem.txt? Let's open it and here we have two lines, some lorem ipsum text does just two simple lines, okay? So we can even move this just like this. Okay, let's open uh, index.php again and let's read the content of this file. Okay, for this we can use file get contents function and we will give here the uh, file name lorem.txt uh, and that will return the content which is written inside lorem.txt. Okay, let's uh, okay. Let's open this in the browser, and here we see lorem ipsum something. Okay, if we want to put some content in this file, uh, first we can read everything what is there, and then we can write something back inside the file. Okay, so if we just call file get contents, 
and let, let's create one file okay for example test.txt and give their uh, hello world text okay uh, let's comment this code uh, not file get contents but file put contents so file get contents read the content file put contents uh, saves the content inside the file and that should create test.txt okay so let's see the result and here we have it test.txt and hello world is written there if we want to uh, get the content which is written in the lower end.txt and append something or prepend something and save back we can uh, take that content in a variable and we can call instead of uh, test.txt we can call here um, lorem.txt and we can put their content and prepend it uh, like my text okay my text and let's put their php all which is a constant and which is stand for new line okay php all is php end of line and that creates new line Okay, so, so let's save this, refresh the browser, open lorem.txt, and we see my text, then new line, and then the text what was already there. So if I run this couple of more times in the browser, that will change the file. Okay, that will prepend more uh, my texts. Okay, so here I have the link which I'm going to open and quickly show you. So this is the full documentation, official documentation from php.net where we can see the whole functions working with file systems. Okay, so to change the permission, to change the owner of the file, to delete the file. Um, here, are, here I have some of these commonly used functions, file exists, for example. The file exists function checks whether the given path or directory exists or not. Is dir function basically checks if the given path is uh, directory or not file aim time which returns when the file was last modified file size returns when the file uh, what, what is the actual file size we have disk free space we have file this file returns uh, that's that's a function and it returns uh, where is that function I want to show it to you reads the entire file into an array and you can click on each of the function and scroll down Read the documentation and scroll down and you will see examples okay so that it reads the whole file um, inside an array okay so that's there are a lot of functions and uh, my recommendation is to just have a look know what they are and whenever you need it you will use it